I'm going to demonstrate how to revert to physical security identification of a crucial Solms tape drive. I needed to revert mine in order to securely wipe it with parted magic. Now, unfortunately for me, when I attempted to do this using the internal SATA port of my Optiplex 7040, the crucial Solms state drive didn't show up in the utility needed i.e. the Crucial Storage Executive could not recognise my Crucial Solid State Drive and it shows up in Device Manager. So I had to get a USB adapter and the USB adapter at least makes it convenient to read out the PSID number. Otherwise you would need to take a picture of this before attempting to wipe the PSID. So if I open up um, device manager now. Now it doesn't detect that I've got the crucial solid state drive, it's just got the USB to SATA adapter from StarTech. So the hardware IDs don't really apply to the crucial solid state drive. However, if we launch the crucial storage executive, it will now ironically detect the crucial solid state drive which it didn't detect when I used the SANA port. Okay, so now I see both the crucial zone state drives listed. I see my M2, which I'm not going to touch, and my M500, which I want to go through. So let's have a look at the drive details. Okay, and we can do a smart test. And we can check the firmware. Now I've just updated the firmware using a bootable USB, so it's up to date. And we can try to sanitize the drive, but this drive is not supported for Sanitize and Sanitize doesn't work over USB and as we know it can't read the SANA port. So let's go ahead and do the PSID revert. So for this I need to type in that 32 character number which you've seen on the solid state drive. So now that I've typed this number in I can click PSID revert and then select PSID revert again and now the PSID revert is complete so I can go ahead and securely wipe my SSD using parted magic now